February 14 to 16, 439 pm Sunday. This hamster came in because the eyes gonna open and was not eating, was lethargic for at least four days. The young man does not really know what's happening to him. So when he saw pus came out from the right side of the eye, he suggested maybe we should put the hamster to sleep. The pus kept flowing out from the right side of the eye and the right eye was fully closed up, kicked with pus. And so it wasn't opened. And uh, what now is after treatment, you can see the right eye is inflamed and the pus was under the eyelids, yellow liquid pus. And uh, so once one eye was practically closed, the right eye and the left eye was 50% closed. So the young man was asking me whether it should be better to put him, put her to sleep since the hamster is blind. So I say it's better to wait and see and let me treat. So now you can see the hamster actually is of a good weight. 66 grams, 66 grams. And uh, you can see that uh, he was sick probably the last one week. Now, I've, I have tutored him by putting eye drops and cleaning his eyes so you can see that he looks much uh, happier and active. Also, I trim his lower teeth. The lower teeth were overgrown. The lower teeth was overgrown so he couldn't really eat. He couldn't really uh, uh, eat very well. So it should be at least a, at least a week or more. I uh, see I trim the teeth and uh, we'll wait and see tomorrow how he responds to the treatment. So basically clear the eye of pus. Both eyelids were stuck with pus. Trim the lower teeth which were overgrown and uh, give antibiotics orally. There's no injection. Has, uh, sometimes they can't take it. Now you can see the hamster is not so active now. But uh, definitely you can see now. Now look at the management. The management, you can see the water bottle is too high up. It's a water bottle of the cage. Now it's too high up. It's a, it's a luxurious cage. Now if the hamster is, is uh, healthy, of course, he can climb up there, yeah, but it is too high up. And uh, some dust must have got into his eyes. You can see the litter is, is full. Now the food bowl is quite deep, which is quite common. So the hamster has to go into the food bowl to eat. And uh, the dust would have dropped into his eyes. And uh, of course this is the hiding area, the den. And uh, it's packed with uh, wood shape, uh, paper shavings, which is okay. But uh, it has been changed, cleaned up every day, but I doubt that any owner would do that. Overall, it's best not to get this type of uh, high high doubt. Yeah. So and stuff it with so the hamster stuff it with so many uh, paper litter, so it becomes dirty, and uh, the bacteria is there. Now you look at the the exercise wheel. Exercise wheel. The height is okay, the size should be okay, but uh, size should, and the height should be okay. The hamster can climb in, 
Now this this uh, owner is quite generous, as you can see. The accommodation is is very uh, very uh, luxurious. Except that uh, it will take some effort to clean up. I don't know how long, how often he cleans up the litter. Now there's a hamster here now. He's uh, resting after treatment. Just show some interest in food in the seeds. So the best is not to put the food inside a deep bowl, but this is quite commonly practice in Singapore and and elsewhere so many hamsters get passed in the eyes due to either injury or infection so the eyelid becomes kick with with uh, bacteria and pass and it can't open now you can see that it needs human human intervention <coughs> to open the eyelids because obviously it, the pass is very sticky and uh, the hamster can't do it so if you if you observe your hamster every day and see eye discharge quickly put eye drops and clean the eyes then uh, you won't get into this situation where the eyelids are glued glued shut by the thick pass now it seems to be drinking here you see you put the water bowl or water plate at a low level so you can drink and uh, overall he looks a bit more active a bit more active and uh, we will wait till <coughs> tomorrow this is the antibiotics the, the eye ointment and the uh, Medication, betrayal, it's a bit of painkiller, and uh, we'll see how, how he progressed tomorrow. Today is February 14, 2016, 4 47 pm, top of your vets, Singapore. A hamster coming in with eyes, eyelid closed, so there's no need to do euthanasia. Has the right eyelid was, the pass was coming out from somewhere deep inside the eye, but the eye itself is, uh, is so far okay. You can see the eyeball. You see the eyeball is so far okay there. Now there's no more pass, but you can see there's, there's a deep injury in the cornea. Yeah as if something sharp has penetrated the, the cornea at 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock and that's why the pus comes out yeah. and the hamster stops eating the lower teeth starts to overgrow making it difficult for him to eat to peel off the seeds Top by vets Singapore February 14 to 016 Sunday